knows and doesn't know about the video is really interesting to me because, like, like in reality life, not in Yakuza world, it's like Yakuza world, okay? We just have to, like, understand that some people are just not on the internet and they don't know about stuff, okay? Some people don't know and some people do, but, like, about the, um, the, the VTuber doxing, some people don't know, um, but, like, this is also a universe where, like, you know, someone could drop a building on you and you're pretty much fine. Punch a tiger in the face and the tiger will fall over. The face off machine is real, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, like, we're not going to worry about, like, what would happen in real life. We're not, it's not a criticism of the game. They're allowed to make up their own universe rules, okay? It doesn't have to be, like, real life. If I wanted real life... I go to fucking Walgreens and stand there. Like, no, real life was boring. I want to see somebody, like, pick a guy up and throw him crotch first into a pole, okay? Like, throw some firecrackers in a man's mouth and light him on fire. Like, and then it's, it, nobody gets hurt because it's not real. None of this is real. So it's fine. They can have their own reality rules. This is not a criticism. It's not a plot hole, okay? It's just an observation. In our world that we live in, there is no fucking way that your ex, who was famous, who everybody thought died, resurfaces on a YouTuber live stream docs event that was seen by like 3 million people or whatever the fuck. There's no way that p everyone you know doesn't email that to you, okay? There's, like, no fucking way every person you've ever met doesn't immediately email you a link to that. It definitely would happen, okay? Like, when I was in late high school, early college, I was, like, really into the, uh, song Tainted Love. That song rules. You can't judge me because I have excellent taste. But I was, like, really into it. And so when it would come on, I would, like, get into it and, like, sing and stuff. Because I'm, like, a fucking theater kid. So I like to do that kind of shit. And, like, I think I might have made up a little dance to it. Like, I don't know. I was just into it. I was grooving. But, like, people knew that I liked that song. And this was back when they did not have popular songs on the commercials. Okay, so this was a big deal. They had made a Tainted Love, like, and it was in a commercial. Like, multiple people fucking called me on the phone. And that was just for, like, I know you like this song. It was on the TV. Did you see it? There's no way everyone on Earth has not emailed that to you. This is not a criticism of the game. It's not a plot hole. It's just a thing that I thought was funny. As a comment, I hate plot hole culture. I hate nitpicking continuities. I don't think it's a mistake if a game wants to do something different than real life. Real life is overrated. Why do you think I play fucking video games? Anyway, what's going on? This fucking edible's really hitting. Oh, yeah! Here we are. We're at Date. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not like talking about anybody in the chat. I'm just like the overall culture of deciding that you're mad at something because of plot holes. Like, stop it. Just stop it. It is ruining legitimate media criticism, which is more than just being like, I noticed the thing was different than another thing. Yeah, buddy. A fucking toddler can do that. That's not what media criticism is. It's fucking ruining the entire space. And I have a grudge. <laughs> is all. Not against anyone in the chat. Against mostly YouTube commenters, honestly. <sighs> and people who make bad YouTube videos. And then people who say things that are foolish. And then I see it with my own two eyes. The only eyes I'll ever get. And then I have to have it in my brain. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little... I just fucking hate that shit. Ah! It gets on my nerves. Because the people who say it are so smug about it. What is this attitude? You think you're doing a smart guy thing. And you're not. And... It, 
it's annoying. Go away. Th things could be better. But, like, there's so much just, like, sludge on the internet now because people started making sludge and then they get money for that and then, like, people do more of what gets rewarded and so there's just, like, very hard to find things that are interesting anymore. And I find that really annoying. Like, I don't know, it used to be, like, it's just kind of interesting to explore the ways that, like, certain, let's say, like, the X-Men timeline kind of, like, loop-de-doops back around on itself and it's just, like fun trivia stuff that's fun like you know be like hey and then this branches off and it does this thing and then these things and it kind of contradicts itself but like whatever and then it goes off in this direction and it's like yeah that's just fun descriptive talking about like how things like kind of twisted turd not a problem proscriptive saying serial mediums should all be, like, planned out completely in advance so that they don't, like, contradict themselves ever is just, like... So you've never done a long creative project <laughs> that was collaborative with a bunch of other people. Like, and you can't extrapolate out how over many years that would, like, start to become a thing where you would maybe want to contradict yourself. I don't know. Have you ever changed your mind? <laughs> Have you ever, in 20 years, changed your mind? Like, come on. It's weird. It's the rule of cool. I I think I saw an anime YouTuber talking about that. I think it was Mother's Basement. Uh, I, I don't know if he made that up. Probably not, but that's where I saw it. But, like, yeah, from anime, it's like the rule of cool. Is it cool? Was it fun? Did it make you go, ah? Then it's good. It's fine. It can be in a Yakuza game. No problem. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. How could they tell us more concretely that they're going to do whatever the hell they want with these characters despite continuity or nothing else by, like, literally resurrecting characters from the dead and then and then being like, you know, whatever. That's not how they're trying to do things. And you got to come to a piece of art in the context of what they're trying to do. It's not good media criticism. It's bad. It's not even media criticism. Like, you just notice things. Noticing things isn't anything. That's not anything. You have to do more than that. Noticing things and then morally judging that you were able to notice it. Like, no. Stop it. Get some help. He didn't make it up, but I like his media literacy a lot. I dig, I dig the Mother's Basement channel. Yeah. Yeah.